So we are about to learn the gratitude technique of the late, great Dr. Wayne Dyer. And we're going to learn what it is. And literally, it just takes about 30 seconds at the start of our day, and it helps our entire day. We're going to learn why it's so effective. And then maybe most importantly, we're going to learn exactly how to implement it and actually do it in our lives. Now, Dr. Dyer had a famous quote, and he said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And this, like actually taking the time to do a gratitude practice and look at the world through a lens of gratitude, of appreciation, and even love, that is exactly how we change the way we look at things. Now, this technique is so simple, yet it's so very powerful. And please don't let the fact that it only takes about 30 seconds out of our day at the very beginning of our day take away from the fact that this will color our entire day and make a difference in the way that we perceive our entire day. Now, this started for me back in late 2015, and I had just learned of Dr. Dyer's passing, and I was actually in the midst of reading his autobiography called I Can See Clearly Now. And after his passing, I went online to take a look at some of his other work, and I found this movie, and it's called The Shift. And it's a movie that he did in about 2009. And essentially, it takes a lot of his works and his thoughts and his practice of intention and takes it to a film crew. And they get to learn while they're filming Dr. Dyer about Dr. Dyer and his techniques. Well, it didn't take me too long of watching this movie to get a lot of value in it. And in fact, the first minute is what affected me the most in this movie. Now, the scene is, it was showing some uh, just a beautiful piano music, and it's uh, completely dark outside, and it pans through Dr. Dyer's hotel room, and it shows his, his clock, and I believe it's 3.13 a.m. when he's doing it, and it shows Dr. Dyer kind of stir in his bed and get up and then sit up, and then sits up, closes his eyes, and looks up, and he says the words, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I remember just watching this and being so affected by the simplicity of this, but I could tell how he felt when he did it. And I knew that this is something that I wanted to try. So I grabbed a journal, I wrote it down, and I said, I will try this. And of course, that was many years ago. And I can tell you that I've done it many, many mornings since then, probably a few thousand times. And the days that I do this, when I stop to say thank you as the very first thing I do in the mornings, my entire day gets better. And I think there are a lot of reasons for this, and I'd like to go through a few just so you know why this is so effective and maybe why you would want to try it in your own life. So Dr. Dyer did this in the movie, but he also talked about this in his blog. And in fact, let me read this real quick and make sure I get it right here. He wrote that, without exception, I begin every day of my life with an expression of gratitude. As I look in the mirror to begin my daily ritual of shaving, I say, thank you, God, for this life, for my body, for my family and loved ones for this day and for the opportunity to be of service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I know it's up to you and whether or not you'd actually like to add all of that. For me personally, I just prefer the thank you, thank you, thank you part. And of course, I do it just a little bit differently and I'll explain how I do it here in just a little bit. But that is the technique. And not surprisingly, I call it the Dr. Dyer Technique for Gratitude. So let's actually talk about why this Wayne Dyer Technique for Gratitude actually works. And the first thing that I'd like to talk about is the timing of this, because this is literally the first thing that we do in the morning, and it has a primacy effect. And primacy effect just means that we tend to remember the very first thing that happens in a series of events. So in our day, we will remember that the first thing that we did was to show gratitude for 
our lives and this opportunity and the miracle of it all to our Creator, which is just wonderful. And again, the fact that we do it first thing colors the entire rest of the day because we are setting up our gratitude antenna. We're looking at gratitude for the entire day and that's the first thing that we do. And I believe also that right out of sleep, we are in an alpha brain state. And what that means is we are somewhere between the sleep state and completely being woken up and the normal state, which is beta. And when we're in this alpha brain state, the things that we say and that we do tend to actually uh, work better in our memory. And we can take it in. And again, that's the first thing that we do. And it's the thing that we remember all day long. And then also, because it's the first thing of the day, it starts to set a routine for us. And we know the first thing that we do when we get out of bed is to say thank you for the day and to do this technique. And honestly, it's so much better than rolling over and grabbing our phones, which I think the, the latest surveys say that over 90% of the population wake up and start their day reactively looking at their phones, scrolling through and taking all of these inputs rather than being proactive and doing something. In this case, we're being proactive and we are going out to greet the day with gratitude. And it's the first thing that we do. And rather than even just like making our bed so we can check something off the list, we are able to check off that we are being grateful as the very first thing of the day. And that's why it's so important. So the second reason that this is so effective is that the second we wake up in the morning, we are showing gratitude. We're saying thank you to our creator, the universe, the source, whatever you prefer to call it. We're doing that first thing in the morning and we are expressing our gratitude for life. Now we're telling ourselves that we're in deep appreciation of the world and even that we love this life. Now, Meister Eckhart, let me get this right. He's a German theologian in the early 1300s. He said, if the only prayer that you said was thank you, that would be enough. And see, he knew the secret about that because when we are showing gratitude, we will have a more positive outlook on life, all of life. So this gratitude, it helps us focus on the more positive things and our thoughts and beliefs shape our entire perception of the world. And when we are grateful, that is what fills our minds and that is what shapes our world. And like Dr. Dyer said, the way that we look at things changes completely when we do that through a lens of gratitude. Now, science has shown this, and I've, I've looked at a lot of this, that helps us focus on the positive things in life. It, uh, it helps us gain a positive cognitive bias. And the more grateful we are, the more we find to be grateful for, which is really neat because when we're grateful, we're going to look out there and see all of these things that contribute to that grateful mindset, which is really wonderful with that. And the beautiful thing about this too, is it makes us more positive, more optimistic, and even more proactive. And a lot of people say that we'll be more grateful when things get really good for us. But I think that we'll find that things get good for us when we are more grateful. And that's the way that life works. So the third and final reason I think that this really, really works for us is that it is repetitive. It's the repetition of the gratitude that affects us each and every day. So as we do this every single morning, we get better and better at gratitude. We actually start to feel it more. And at the beginning, it might feel kind of forced or maybe a little bit artificial. But as we get to do it more and more, we become a lot better at it and we can feel it a lot more deeply. And in my studies about gratitude, this is something that's very important. Gratitude isn't necessarily something that we have, but it's something that we do. And when we do this each and every morning, we are expressing gratitude. We are actually having a gratitude practice that makes us more and more grateful each and every day. And the way this works, it is just like your muscles in a gym. When you're lifting weights and you're straining, 
and your when you do that the number of repetitions that you do your muscles break down and they build back better than before and it's the same way with gratitude as we do this every single morning and we express and we show our gratitude to god to our creator to the source or whatever you choose to believe on that we are getting better and better at gratitude and the the muscles of our gratitude practice are strengthening and getting a whole lot better and i want you to think about this if you were to do this practice for several years, think about how grateful of a human being you would be. And that's actually where I'm at now. And it's one of the reasons I'm so excited about getting this information to you. So you can start the Wayne Dyer technique in your own life, become extraordinarily grateful and be able to do this day after day after day to strengthen your gratitude and completely change your paradigm of the way that you look at life. And I promise when you get started at this, which we're about to talk about the best ways to do this, it will color your life in vibrant colors that you've never expected. And it will make everything better because we are choosing to love life more. Hey, Chip Franks here. And I just wanted to invite you to pick up a free gift at greatatgratitude.com. And there you will find a primer on gratitude and a template for creating your very own gratitude practice that takes only a few minutes a day and it fundamentally can change the way that we look at life and help us love life more. And I invite you to go get that at greatatgratitude.com. Thanks for watching. Now here's the rest of the video. Now I understand that it can be tough for you to change your behavior based on a single video that you're watching here. But I did this and I made this video hoping I could get you to just try out this habit. So try it out and see how it makes you feel in the morning. And then perhaps you will continue that and it can help make a difference in your life. So here are the ways that I would say that we can make this happen in our lives. Number one, I would like you to set your intention to actually do this. And I like to do that by actually writing it down in here. And it says here, I will begin my day by saying thank you, thank you, thank you, so I can become more grateful. I will start my day the right way and improve my mood for the entire day. And now it's up to you. Think about the reasons that you might want to do this in your life and grab a journal and a pen and actually write it down. And I think something magical happens when we start writing something down in our journals because uh, for me, it's like I imprint it on my soul. So write it out and state your intention, put it out in the daylight on paper and set your intention to actually do this. The second way that we can add this to our day is to set a trigger to activate this behavior. Now, one of the ways I like to do this is actually on my alarm. I set uh, my phone down and it is my alarm in the morning. And when I wake up, it actually says, thank you, thank you, thank you on my alarm. So it's just a trigger for me that the first thing that I want to do is say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you have to be really careful. I have to be careful with this because my phone, it's like handling fire. If I have it in my hand, there's a good chance I'm going to look at it and start opening up social media or my emails or something like that. So just be really careful. But if you have an alarm, you can set that to say, first thing, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it can remind you of that. Maybe another way that you want to do this is actually put it on a little post-it note on your mirror in the morning. Like Dr. Dyer said in his blog, sometimes while he's shaving his face, he's saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. Personally, I like to do it a little bit sooner than that. And the way that I do this is I actually wake up get out of bed as quietly as I can because my, my bride is there and she wouldn't be too grateful for me waking her up by saying thank you, thank you, thank you. So what I do is I go outside no matter the weather and whether it's dark outside and I can see the stars or the sun is coming up or it's already day. What I like to do is go out in the backyard and I'm a geek and I throw my hands up in the air and I look from the left to the right to say, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And what you want to do again is have a trigger 
that lets you do this. And in fact, I love the BJ Fogg habit forming techniques. And he says, A, B, C, an anchor. And that is the trigger that's going to cause you to actually do this. Then you do the behavior. You actually do the Wayne Dyer technique. And then C is the celebration afterwards. And of course, I like to do that, perhaps even writing it down as a to-do item on my to-do list every day that I can check off and feel that little burst of dopamine because I've actually done something good for myself to start my day the right way. So that is number two, set up a trigger to activate this behavior. So after we've set our intention and written it down and we've set the trigger so we actually do this behavior in the morning, we do this the way that feels right for us. And what I'd love for you to do is to actually take this concept from this video that's only taking you a few minutes to watch today and to actually translate it into your life by trying it out. And what I would say is you want to do this the right way for you. Now, I've already told you the way that I do it. You've seen two ways that Dr. Dyer has done it. Of course, first thing, sitting up and saying it, which I think is amazing. And then also while he's shaving in the morning to perhaps say thank you at that time. But you find the way that it works for you. And here's what I would suggest with this. When you actually do this technique, I would say stop. Pause and breathe very, very deeply and think about all of the things that make this life a miracle. Now, our Albert Einstein, he actually said that there are only two ways to go through life. Now, one is that nothing is a miracle. And number two is that everything is a miracle. And I would suggest that deciding and thinking that everything is a miracle is a great way to go through life. And that just makes us feel so blessed and so grateful and so wonderful that we're given this wonderful opportunity to have these human forms and to be able to love all of life. And again, that's what we're doing. So set your intention, set up a trigger so that you start doing this in the morning. And the third way is to do it your way, to breathe it and feel it and to actually take it in your soul. And then hopefully that's going to feel good enough to get you to do this over and over again as a new habit and a new routine for you. And that's what I'm hoping to accomplish with this video is for you to add this to your life and to actually change the way we look at things so that the things we look at will change. And that's my friend is it. That is the Wayne Dyer technique for gratitude, which you can try Hopefully you'll start this tomorrow morning and take out your journal, write down those intentions and in doing it because a lot of people might see this and think, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. I like that idea. It makes sense. It's pretty cool. But there will be a lot of people that actually watch this, think that and don't do it. Please don't be one of those folks. Just at least do this and try it in your own life to see if it works. Don't take my word for it. Just try it and see how it feels for you. And I'm not going to say that this will completely revolutionize your life. However, if you're anything like me, what this will do is help your days take on a new, gosh, just a new feeling of gratitude throughout your whole day. And it definitely, definitely makes your days better. At least it, it works that for me. So thank you for listening. I hope that this has helped. And again, if you like information like this, please like and subscribe to this and I will get you more information and simple techniques on ways to love life more. Thank you. This is Chip Franks. And please remember that you are loved and deserving. Thanks.